Let me off the road. New Orleans is one of the most culturally rich cities in the world. There are over 70 different neighborhoods, different people, different places. Today, we're going to take you to a few of them. Tulane is located in the heart of Uptown. Audubon Park, the Mississippi River, and world-famous Magazine Street are within walking distance. There's so much to do, and it's only a few minutes away from other parts of town. Tulane plays a big role in the city of New Orleans. It's one of the largest employers in the area, and our students are very active in the community. It's a great way to help and to experience the city. Hey, Akila, where are we going first? City Park, Mid-City. City Park is just a couple of miles down Carrollton Avenue from Tulane. Its magnificent moss-covered oak trees are stunning. It's hard to believe that in 2005, these same trees sat in flood water for weeks when the levees broke during Katrina. But thanks to the efforts of volunteers, including Tulane students, City Park has made an incredible comeback. Plus, it's the site of the Museum of Art, the popular Voodoo Fest, and it's only a couple of blocks away from the New Orleans Jazz Fest held each spring. City Park and Mid-City are right next to Lakeview. Lakeview has really made a comeback since Hurricane Katrina, and there are nonprofits still working in the area. Our organization started as a youth-focused, youth-centered organization, and we believe that the people that help youth the most in their development is teachers. So we buy houses, we fix them up with volunteers, those youth, giving them training, providing them opportunities, but then ultimately we sell those houses at a discount to teachers. I really enjoy being able to get off campus and um, experience some of the opportunities that Tulane has to offer to um, meet other people in the city and work on really meaningful projects. The lake in Lakeview refers to beautiful Lake Pontchartrain. You'll find Tulane volunteers here too, helping in a lot of ways, from keeping the lake clean to refurbishing the historic lighthouse and museum. You never know who you will run into in New Orleans. Actress Sandra Bullock adopted Warren Easton High School here in Mid-City, and every now and then she makes an appearance. So do Tulane students. We are making uh, signs for different um, rooms in our health clinic. We have signs for exam rooms, the dentist's office, and this is the sign for the social worker's office. So we're calling it the chat room. I actually didn't have any prerequisites for the class, so we have people that have never taken an art class before. We have art majors, we have architecture students, there's neuroscience students, chemistry students, anybody that's interested in sort of creatively addressing health-related issues, certainly fair game. They're going out into the Bywater area, they're going out into the central city, mid-city areas to get a sense of what the actual city looks like, not just the community around Tulane. A friend of mine recently told me that her siblings actually go to Warren Easton and I didn't even know that and they knew about everything that we were doing and they sound super excited about it. So I think that what I like most about service learning is the lasting impact that we're going to have. Welcome to world famous Canal Street. Things are happening here. There's a huge medical complex under construction right now, and Tulane's playing a big role in research, development, and social entrepreneurship. It's just a few blocks from the French Quarter. We have volunteers working there, too. Tulane students are mentors for The Roots of Music, a fantastic after-school music program for talented local youth. Look for their marching band in the Mardi Gras parades. New Orleans is surrounded by water. New Orleans East is home to a thriving Vietnamese community, many of whom are fishermen in South Louisiana. We come out every week to, to Vela to work with an organization that is multicultural, right, and that is very much involved in um, processes of empowerment for the youth living here. We do academic support, um, so one-on-one -on -one tutoring with homework, whatever subjects people are working on. We're also collaborating with the youth to write articles for Media NOLA, which is a cultural history wiki. Go to the website and there's a giant map of New Orleans and you can click on tabs and it'll take you to descriptions of different places. There's absolutely nothing about New Orleans East. It's more rural and it's lower income and there are a lot of immigrants from Vietnam and Honduras. It's 
so different. We think that New Orleans East is just as much of an important part of New Orleans as the rest of it that's been documented well. On the way back to the city, we will pass by the Lower Ninth Ward, which was entirely wiped out by Katrina. Tulane students have helped in the area from building homes to public health projects to sustainability. There's still a lot of work left to do down here. Next, let's stop in Central City. Central City is located between downtown and uptown. It's a favorite place for Second Lines and Mardi Gras Indian tribes. Tulane students have left a lasting impression on this area. Students have designed and built nine homes here as part of its Urban Build program. The Tulane City Center even has an office here. We like to think of our projects as small projects that have uh, a big impact. So they're incremental changes um, that give people a sense that it is possible to change their neighborhoods. The learning, if you speak to any of the students, is far more intense. I get interactions with citizens and local community members um, that really plays into the design process and also helps me learn more about New Orleans. So there's your quick tour of New Orleans and where your Tulane public service experience can take you. Enjoy the city.